guys welcome back to run stretch succeed here and today i'm going to do a little update as i've not been doing videos for a while so i just wanted to fill you in on my life and my running and training at the moment so i have got a couple of races coming up for the end of the year i've got warrington way i'm on in the lake district what well, i don't know the name of so i'll put it down below but if you like running videos ultra videos are just at fitness videos in general hit that subscribe button come and join us and join me for my journey I think my last did jump I did was of the Lakeland 100 where I did data and to be honest I didn't feel that bad at the end I was just really blistered I wish I had better shoes more socks and other stuff like that but I actually didn't feel that bad I felt like I could have kept going but with the state my feet was in and the weather conditions and falling I lost confidence, but for how hard I thought the hills were going to be, I actually was really proud of myself, how well I handled the, I can't think what it's called, when you go up hills, someone commented below, you know what I mean, like the height of the hills, the descent and the ascent, I can't remember what it's called, I felt like I handled that so well. Um, it was just mainly the weather conditions were like really rainy a month before so I'm really happy with my achievement with that but spell were I just didn't feel very well I felt a bit under weather it got to Leeds to Liverpool but I did go and support um, and have a little aid station I met a lot of people who did it um, and well done to everyone who did it I just didn't want to make myself ill or I just didn't want to make myself ill or anything like that. I didn't see it worth it. I felt a bit burned out. But I feel like I'm going to go back next year and smash it and try to go for a PB. So yeah, I guess that's a bit where I'm up to with what I've been doing. I have been doing training, mainly not running. with my actual training I've not been doing so much running because I feel like it really burned me out I feel like I had to stop taking a minute for myself um, and just really get back into it when my mind and body felt like it was positive enough then try to push myself in it and personally I don't think there's anything wrong with that if you don't feel and you're not happy having fun training gear I feel like you're not getting that much out of it it's just not worth doing and stressing yourself out i've concentrated more on weight training and ab training 40 minutes of abs three times a week these are weighted ab exercises and um, if you want any of these routines i can do a video on them um, and also i've been doing like upper body and back training so it's a bit hard with my job and doing so much contortion training to actually do your legs because I feel like it really fatigues yourself. So I bet a lot of you be so I bet a lot of you are wondering what is active flexibility and why I've been doing that instead. So active flexibility is the range of motion you can use with just using your muscle so you're not picking up your arms or legs. It's completely muscle bound. This is really good for people who have hypermobility, what is most people call it double jointedness. People with hypermobility, what most people call double jointed is when someone has a longer ligament or a ligament more stretching more than the average person. But I would actually really look at I've 
I've just done a couple of runs to keep myself pacing, walking through, keep them legs going, I guess. Um, because obviously I wanted to get back into running, but I've just not over concentrated on it till I felt back in the mood. So we have got Warrington Way in a couple of weeks. And we have got the one in the Lake District, what is part of Lakelands 100. Um, what I'm looking forward to doing, because I'm not really that worried, as I did the hard bit of Lakelands 100, and that was 31 miles. So it should be hey okay, but a good experience to get me into map reading and just some hill training, I guess. So, I'm wondering what races I want to enter next year. I don't want to do too many 100 milers because I felt like it was really stressful on my body and more in a mental way where I was getting a bit freaked out that I was getting a bit ill from it. But I think it was more in here than physical. I think I would have been fine. I think it was more of a stress was giving me a bit of anxiety from it. So, I'm looking to do more 50s obviously in the northwest area um, and I want to do some smaller races, some new ones um, so I am thinking of doing, um, I can't think but I'm looking for some new races, some smaller ones so that I can do some variety on the channel, show you some different races to see what, how I feel maybe one day we could rank them and do a ranking video from easiest to hardest so and why it was the easiest and why it was the hardest um, just so that you can get an idea where you're up to and where you might want to try next because obviously booking races does give you a bit of anxiety but that's all part of it and part of the challenge but you don't want to dip yourself in at too deep of an end so maybe that could be a good video to do. So comment some races you're doing and um, the area of the year. Are any races in the northwest what you think I would like? If you want to see me do some ultras, subscribe to the channel. And if you're at Warrington Way, do not be scared of coming over to me. Um, sometimes I get a bit freaked out that um, people recognise me off the channel, but that's just more because I don't know how to react so i will see you next time